So the Animal Jam brand is quite old. In fact, it's coming up 14 years now since the game originally launched. And within that time, it's had like a lot of spin-off titles, mostly turning to mobile games. And no, I'm not talking about, you know, the now face of Animal Jam, Animal Jam Mobile, or formerly known as Animal Jam Play Wild. But there was a series of mobile apps, Animal Jam or Wildworks, released on Google Play Store and the App Store as various ways of trying to expand the brand. A lot of these are very interesting games and honestly I could sink in hours into them. Others don't have so much replayability but today I thought we would take a trip down memory lane if you will and played every single Animal Jam game in one single video. Going from the earliest releases all the way to the most latest entry in the uh, that franchise if you will. Now uh, I'm just recording the intro on Animal Jam Classic I think as I said in the intro here that this is where it all started. Animal Jam Classic is where it all started. And uh, if you, you're not new to the channel, you definitely know from my hundreds of videos on the channel that I'm mostly a classic player. So I don't think I really have to go in depth here on classic, if you will, for this one video. I'm just going to record the intro in on uh, Animal Jam Classic here. So you can you can at least say it was in the video type of thing. And then, uh, you know, Play Wild is very present on my channel as well. So the outro is just going to be recorded on Play Wild. You know, we're not going to go too crazy in depth we're mostly going to be focusing on the the titles that not many people talk about because they're just kind of forgotten nowadays but yeah without a further ado we'll just hop into the first title Okay, so we have Tunnel Town here. Obviously, I think this was the first mobile app Animal Jam made. Um, way back in 2013, it was kind of a weird thing to like just suddenly see. I remember, you know, logging into Animal Jam back in the day, about like 2013 when this game came out and seeing founder buddy, bunnies being advertised in the news and like people being confused, like, can you get the founder bunny as a pet in game? Or is this like only a Tunnel Town thing? Regardless, it was advertised like you needed Tunnel Town. So that's where, you know the main draw came in you know an exclusive bunny that you could get um ironically enough golden bunnies were ended up releasing like a couple years later as like promo things anyway so enough about that let's talk about tunnel town here so uh tunnel town news here we can see bunnies from the sea um this is very similar to how animal gen classic kind of does their updates now where it has a set time and date where they you know pretty much just recycle content like they cycle in and out seasonal things like summer is about to start like next month or so so they have the uh, bunnies of the sea you know a beachfront there that type of thing yo know, you can get um certain bunnies at certain times of the year pretty much now the last time i actually looked at this game this isn't my original tunnel sound account but uh as you can tell by the top left you can imagine when this was made um considering the the username on this is kecko and if you've been watching the channel for a while you know i haven't had kecko in a few years uh yeah this was i think i was planning on making a video about tunnel town in like 2021 as like a own standalone video rather than me like playing all the Alma Gem games in one video like this one and uh, I had this like great format as you can see here I was going for like a, a hotel kind of thing I don't even know uh, I was gonna theme all the rooms and stuff and uh, one objective I had with doing this was I wasn't gonna sell or get rid of a single bunny whatsoever I was gonna keep them all because sometimes you do have to just, like sell them for gems in order to buy new things or upgrade certain things but let's talk about what you actually do in this game you, you pretty much get bunnies um to dig your way down through the burrow and stuff and as you can see there is a lot of bunnies here i think this is one of the coolest um games animal jam has made my personal favorite anyway i'm pretty sure i've discussed that previously but there's a lot of variety here especially for them just being bunnies and stuff and uh i i believe the stars are the the kind of premium currency of this game and i think i pondered at buying some of the star currency before when i was like actually like playing this game um and it just wouldn't work the in-app purchases just wouldn't work for it so uh, i kind of just gave up on that and just you know continued on so everything you see here is free to play uh this game is obviously free unlike the next one we're going to be talking about but uh pretty much what you need to do is you just you know complete these goals you get like xp which you'll level up which more means you can do more things and get more bunnies and stuff and you also get gems which means you can buy things and how you actually get your bunnies to do stuff i'm pretty sure you do plants 
stuff up here and once you do that you can um, feed them the finished food and they'll get to work on whatever you want them to do there is a um i think the funniest part of this game a dance floor which when two bunnies dance together out comes a baby bunny from a baby bunny egg i, I animal jam has a very interesting way of how uh how to teach kids how bunnies reproduce i guess i don't know um i i guess they couldn't you know do an actual scientific way of how bunnies do it but um you, you get what i mean i'm not here to teach you guys about that either just to be frank um i guess i kind of went on to try to see how far i could dig down okay i dig i dug down to the very bottom and as, as you can see here these bunnies are very tired uh i i very very much just see seeing if i could dig to the bottom or not and then i i just kind of went on my way uh, you also can like click those bugs there that i was clicking around there i think those give rewards um uh, given if you collect them all i think i think i have all of them yeah i do so that's another thing as well there's also pets in this game um, I don't know who this moot person is. I think it might be somebody in my phone contact. I don't know. I just know the social part of this game is very broken because if you try to link your Facebook account, it doesn't actually work. Um, and I imagine that's just because, uh, the account linking server thingy, I guess, if you're going to get real technical with it, it probably isn't running anymore because obviously this game is over 10 years old and it was largely, uh, discontinued or I guess it stopped receiving support years prior to even now but uh you can visit like peck's house at the very least um which was like just everybody had this on their friends list and this is kind of just like um just to show you like what is possible in the game i i think like this pretty much has like every like insane kind of item like that's like super expensive like it utilizes every kind of feature in the game in the burrow in some way you know as you can see here you could put a bunny on a bike and then let it go up ramps up and down the burrow which i think was pretty cool um um, you know, there's trampolines there and stuff. You know, I don't know if I'm doing a good job in showing out what you can do in this game or not, but regardless, this is a really good game. Um, not even nostalgia speaking, like this is just genuinely like one of the good, like good Animal Jam games, if I had to um, rank them anyway. This one would definitely be like an S tier there with Animal Jam Classic, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's also not really much I can show because I don't really have like unlimited money in the game or anything. Like you can decorate the whole thing with furniture and stuff. You know, a lot of these items looked very similar to how Play Wild kind of done their items at the start. I think that was definitely a main inspiration back then, um, at least the styling of it anyway. And then you got the stars and gems and stuff, which obviously very pricey in terms of the money here. Then you got all the foods that you can uh, you can get, and uh, obviously I showed all the bunnies before as well. But yeah, I mean that's pretty much Tunnel Town. Um, I don't think you can change your name. Or, oh, you can change your name, but um, yeah, mine's linked to my game center. That's the only way you can have your data or whatever your save progress link up to an account and like carry it over to a new device now because if you had it for your facebook account fortunately that's gone because you can't link your account anymore i'm pretty sure if i try to click this here um it's just going to yeah give me this and i remember i tried to sign in through my facebook and it pretty much said um error or something like there was an error index or something i don't remember it doesn't work regardless so you know let me know what you guys think about this one um honestly personal favorite of mine. Okay, next we have here AJ Jump. I kind of alluded to this game um, when I was playing Tunnel Town there. Um, this came out a few months after, I think like six months after Tunnel Town did. So the same year, both released in 2013. Animal Jump's kind of going crazy with the uh, the apps in uh, 2013, I guess. Which is surprising because they didn't really uh, end up, you know, going full-fledged into it until they uh, ended up working on Play Wild, which I think was like a year or so after this. But AJ Jump was the first Animal Jam game that costed money and i think it's still the only animal gem game that costs money to this day obviously there's you know microtransactions in animal gem classic and animal gem mobile now but in terms of costing money to actually play the game itself uh aj jump was the first to do so i think it cost like 3.99 or something and um this one is probably easier to show gameplay of uh than tunnel town because tunnel town is a very grindy game and it's a lot of waiting around for you know your bunnies to do things and do tasks for you and stuff and you're just kind of managing 
them. But as for AJ Jump here, um, it's a uh, much of an easier game because all you're doing is just trying to see if you can beat your high score, pretty much. Um, if we go to the uh the high scores here, um, I I, I think I played this in 2021 for like uh, a day or two, and it wasn't very hard to get to the number one spot. Um, now as you can see here, if I try to check buddies and then Jamal as a whole. This is kind of the uh kind of a buddy leaderboard, seeing who had the highest kind of score among your buddies on Animal Jam. Like it synced to your Animal Jam account, and then Jamal obviously being the highest out of everybody that's playing Animal Jam. Um, now, as you can see here, I'm not logged in. Now, it's not because Kecko is also here. I could never link Kecko to the account uh, in the first place because uh, you can't link your account to this anymore, which is really, really silly because this is a game you have to pay money for. Uh, now, the incentive a lot of people bought this game for back in the day was to get a pet Joey. That was the only way you could get it back in the day. I don't know if you can get it any other way now. I imagine they might have re-released them into the diamond shop or something like that or some other way because pet joeys are pretty much impossible to get now otherwise uh so but what was really cool about this game was the fact that you could get pet joeys you could also get gems from this game if you synced up your animal gem account so pretty much you would play through aj jump and if your animal gem account was linked you would receive gems once you transferred them over and that was a pretty much an easy way to get a lot of gems as well now um before i like show the gameplay here we'll go over through uh this stuff here you can like customize a kangaroo very similar to how you would do it in animal jam you know the colors the patterns and then obviously at uh, the eyes and stuff i have mine here with the red elf helmet similar to you know my main look very cool that they had a red elf helmet of course uh unfortunately not in the actual animal jam maybe one day though but as you can see here um yeah there's a lot of items here they're just you know a lot of the kind of uh basic items i would say same with the you know the back items um very similar to like og beta items on animal jam i would say and then you know you got the shoes here as well there wasn't a whole lot they could do um maybe they could have done neck and tail items as well but i imagine they might have um, been on a time crunch for this game maybe or uh you know just graphically you know they couldn't really keep up with it um then they had like little power-ups here these would like give you a giant boost on first jump when you first start out then the magnet would just suck in gems and stuff for an extended amount of time and then the shield would be at invulnerability so you would be immune to hits and stuff so enough talking about everything in the game uh let's talk about the gameplay so here it is um it is motion control i'm pretty sure so you have to turn your phone to actually play so as you can you can, probably can't hear it but i am turning my phone as i'm doing this and i mean yeah it's kind of hard to talk and play at the same time there i don't know if it's gonna be in the final cut of this video here because i'm clipping based on the amount of time i'm talking here but you could see the fandom there maybe um or you can see fandom right there anyway uh those are pretty much the enemy the bad guys in this game and uh, they just get more and more common as you go up so uh you can probably think of this game as like a, a sky high just mobile version i guess that's kind of what they were going for and then there's also just monkeys you know floating in the air giving you gems which is interesting um but given the the time this kind of released um i would say it's fair to say that um it, it's kind of like a doodle jump um clone obviously there's probably a lot more to do in doodle jump um if my memory serves correct it's probably like more content you can do and like whatever because this game is just like a standard like you you are just going up and um i died here because i'm not intending on playing this game for long um but this is just the one map you know the further you go up obviously the terrain changes to like sky and then space and stuff like that but um it is very just one dimensional you are just going up and that's pretty much it i mean like that that's all you really do in a jumper game anyway uh but um this game had a lot of potential i think could have done a lot more i think it would have been played a lot more had it been free uh i imagine animal jam probably made a lot of money on it given that it was you know like 4.99 or something like that i'll put the actual price on screen but uh yeah i mean the only downside is you can't link your animal jam account anymore and i don't imagine they'll ever fix that um maybe nizara will but i don't know maybe they'll bring this back like they did dash tag i don't know but regardless uh that that is aj jump so the final game covering here is dash tag now uh i imagine i am explained this in the intro that i recorded this a few months ago um with that in mind i kind of just recorded the footage from my iphone and then put it on my google drive and then let it sit there until i was going to edit it unfortunately for me i posted the incorrect footage of dash tag to my google drive so the screen footage is just lost and the only thing that there is the commentary uh 
for context, uh, I was recording this all on my old phone that had all these apps downloaded on it. And the commentary was recorded separately on my computer through my mic. And I was going to just line them up in editing and sync them up. And the footage I was using was not syncing up. And I was really perplexed for quite some time, like longer than I would like to admit until I realized the footage that I was trying to sync up with was from this video, which was about the hashtag update that randomly happened a few months ago, uh, which makes a lot of sense considering this footage was recorded like a few hours after I recorded that video. Um, if you noticed, that was about four to five months ago is probably by this point. Don't ask me why this took this long to make. I'm a very unmotivated person a lot of the times. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, you're probably asking why to, why don't I just re-record this? Uh, it's not really necessary, I don't think. Even the original commentary of this part of the video, I kind of just mainly was focusing on me talking about my previous video about Dash Tag because this was supposed to go out soon after <laughs> that one. Uh, but a lot of that was just kind of talking about that and kind of glimpsing over the features of the game. You know, I'll throw the footage on color or whatever on screen while I'm talking over this so it just makes sense but uh to be honest this is probably the least favorite game from Alamo Jam that I have ever played I'm a funner uh, I'm a fan of these kind of runner games but uh you know there's just something about the dash tag engine that just feels like uh kind of slow to me I don't know this feels sluggish I guess is the best way to say it but I do know this was probably the most popular out of the three unfortunately uh, I say unfortunately because Tunnel Town Supremacy on top but yeah I mean uh it's it is what it is man um, if you're looking for an honest in-depth review, proper reviews of these games, you know, you, you definitely weren't going to get them from me. I don't think I gave them all like ratings, but, um, obviously if we were to put them on a scale, first being dash tag, second being AG jump, and then third being dash tag, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much going to conclude the video here. Uh, as I said near the start, the outro would be recorded on Alma Jam Mobile because very present on the channel. I don't think you need more in-depth analysis on the game considering it's half of this channel's identity. Plus that, you know, you just put it as the outro footage so I can say I, I played it in this video type of thing. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it though because uh, I do know uh, probably a good chunk of players nowadays on Alma Jam Classic and Alma Mobile probably don't know about some of these or never have played a lot of these games especially with how old they are and especially some of them costing money to actually play it but it was fun revisiting a uh, memory lane if you will that is for sure but that's gonna wrap it up here guys make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one do make sure to leave a like on it it does help out a bunch and do let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see more videos like this one in the future and do let me know what your favorite game out of these uh, kind of three spin-offs, if you will, is and if you have played any of them. I had a lot of fun making this one and would be interested in making similar videos in the future. But yeah, without further ado, wrap it up here and I will catch you guys in the next one.